Good morning, students. I hope you are fine taking good care of yourselves and staying at home. So before starting today's session, let's watch a video and learn how to stay clean, how to stay healthy to be safe. More memorable for little hands. So wet those hands and apply some soap. It's time for my big song. Rub the palms, one, two. Rub the knuckles, one, two. Okay, so let's begin our today's session. It's topic 14, reteaching. We are going to revise all the concepts we learned in this topic. And we have to cover page numbers 795 to 797. So in today's lesson, we are going to review the learned concept. So what did we learn in this topic? So the first concept we learned was time to nearest minutes and elapsed time and then we learned how to estimate and measure liquid volume and then how to estimate and measure mass so we will revise all three of these concepts one by one okay so page number 795 topic 14 be teaching set a what we have to do write the time shown on each clock in two ways we have to write the time so let's review what did we learn you can read the examples given so quickly tell me the short arm on the clock represents excellent hours and the long arm represents very good minutes and we can count the minutes by very good fives skip count by fives we will start counting the minutes from number very good 12 to 1, it's 5, and then 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. Excellent. So, write the time shown on each clock in two ways. So, let's do question 1. So, quickly tell me, the hour hand is showing... What's the time on the clock now? What's the hour going on? Excellent. It is 12. Very good. And how many minutes? Five, 10, 15. And this arm is here. So this is 15 plus 2. Excellent. It is 17. Very good. So this is the one way to write the time. What is the other way? Excellent. 17 minutes past. Excellent. Very good. Past what? Very good. 12. So this is the other way to write the same time. So likewise, you have to do question 2. Okay, so set B, question 1 to 3, you have to find the elapsed time. Quickly tell me, what were the three main steps to find elapsed time? What was the first step? 
Excellent. You have to find the starting time. And the second one was very good. Count the hours and then count the minutes. Excellent. Let's solve question one. Basketball practice begins at 6.30 p.m. and lasts until 8.15 p.m. How much time does practice last? So we have to find the time interval between 6.30 to 8.15, the elapsed time. So quickly tell me what is the first step? Excellent. Find the starting time. So what is the starting time? Very good. 6.30. So let's draw 6.30 on the clock. So my hour hand will be on number six excellent and my minute hand will be on number excellent again six very good so then i have to count the hours excellent so my ending time is 8 15 so our hand will point to number very good number eight and the minute hand will point to number three very nice excellent so let's count the hours from number six to number eight how many hours we have seven and eight so we have two hours excellent now the third step count the minutes excellent so let's count the minutes so i will start from my starting time and that was from 30 minutes and my ending time has 15 minutes okay so i will start counting by fives from six till three so let's start five ten fifteen twenty twenty five 30, 35, 40, and 45. So I have 45 minutes. So the practice lasts for 2 hours and 45 minutes. So just like this, you will find the elapsed time for question 2 and question 3. Okay, next page, page number 796. And set C, these are the word problems. This is the word problem related to time. So let's read the problem. It takes Don 52 minutes to drive to work. He has already driven for 16 minutes. How many more minutes will it take Dawn to drive to work? So, what's the problem? According to problem, a boy, Dawn, he goes to his office or work every day and it takes how many minutes? Excellent, 52 minutes. And now he's going to his work and he has driven for 16 minutes in 16 minutes are finished he has covered the distance for 16 minutes now how many more minutes 
will take Dawn to drive to the work. So you can draw a number line for this. So total minutes are 52, which he needs to go to the work. And let's say 16 is here. And he has covered these minutes. So now you have to find the time he needs to complete the 52 minutes. Now what operation you are going to use? Quickly tell me. This is 16. Total is 52. Total is given and one of the part is given. So when total is given and one part is given, so what do you do? Addition or subtraction? Excellent, you will subtract, very good. So you will subtract this and write your answer over here. Okay, set D. Circle the better estimate. So this is so easy, super easy. Question one, look at the bottle. This bottle can hold one liter or 10 liter. This is just like a regular bottle you take to your school. So quickly tell me, what is the capacity of this bottle? Very good, one liter. What is the capacity of this bucket? Eight milliliter, like an eyedropper, or eight liter? Very good, eight liter. Excellent. Likewise, you will do question three and question four. Okay, set E, what you have to do, we have to find the total capacity. So, Quickly tell me what is the capacity of the beaker in question two. Just keep one thing in mind that each mark on the beaker represents 10 milliliter. So here it is 100 and two more marks. So 100 plus 20 is equal to excellent 120 milliliter. So likewise, you will find the capacity of this beaker and then add how many milliliters you have here and then write here first the liter, how many liters and then how many milliliters. Okay, set F. Circle the better estimate for the mass. Now look at in question number one. You have a pen, look at the picture and tell me what is the better estimate. What do you think the mass of this pen will be 15 grams or 15 kilograms? 15 kilograms. It's too much. It's almost the weight of kg3 student. So do you think the, the mass of this pen is just like the mass of any kid in KG3? No, right? So it's equal to 15 gram. Very good. And likewise, you will do question 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so set G, what we have to do, find the total mass. So just quickly tell me how many grams make one kilogram. Excellent, 1,000 grams are equal to one kilogram very nice okay now let's do question one so we have to find the total mass total means we are going to add 
all the masses given. So 500 plus 100 plus 100 is equal to excellent 700 and 700 plus 1 is equal to very good 701 so total mass is equal to 701 gram very good so likewise you will do question 2 Okay, so that's all for today's lesson and your homework for today is to revise all the concepts you learned and I will see you in the next video with the new topic and new lesson. Till then, take care and stay safe.